the time has finally come to sew some gorgeous, gorgeous occasion wear. Party season is just around the corner and I am here today to bring you some serious sewing inspiration and pattern recommendations for every holiday event you can think of. Hello everybody and welcome to the Sewing Patterns Holiday Edit. In this video, I have got everything you could need to see you through the upcoming party season, from full on glam ball gowns to something a bit more chill. I am so excited about this video. I have spent weeks researching this. I started researching it in August because I love sewing occasion wear. Oh, it fills my heart with so much joy. Sequins, organzas, the sparkles, velvet, Oh, I love it all. And I'm very excited about the patterns and the inspiration that I have to share with you. So let's get straight into it. I was gonna pour myself a little glass of bubbles to celebrate, but it's actually 11 o'clock in the morning on a Wednesday. So that's probably a little bit too far. I've got a lot here. I'm gonna try and blast through them as quickly as possible because I know my last patterns video was like 400 minutes long. But anyway, let's get into it and let's look at some of these gorgeous, gorgeous patterns. So unless you've been living under a rock, you will have definitely seen the first pattern on my list. I could not include this one because I've made it myself and I absolutely love it. It is the Rose Cafe Bustier by Daria Pattern Making. It does what it says on the tin. It's got a bustier style bodice with bust cups and the skirt on the original pattern is an A-line, but this is so hackable. I have seen so many gorgeous versions of this because of that beautiful style of the bodice. You can make it so glam. I've seen it in silks with a floor length gathered skirt. I've seen it in organzas as well. I've also seen it made as a top, which is a really nice alternative if you don't want to wear a dress and you'd like to wear a nice top with some fitted trousers or something like that. The instructions for this are absolutely amazing. They're so easy to follow. She's got video instructions as well, if you prefer video instructions. She's also got a video which gives you instructions to adding boning and underwire so you can have a full actual bustier with support so you don't need a bra. Just absolutely incredible. This pattern is a knockout and if you don't own it, you need to. I have another one of Daria's patterns next. This is a new one, it's the pleated lily dress. This is stunning. I love the pleated detail on the bodice. It's got these beautiful puff sleeves that are set within straps, but the sleeves kind of taper down at the wrists so you're not at risk of dipping your sleeves in your food or anything. It's got a pleated skirt as well. Yes, there's a lot of pleats in this pattern. So it's got a pleated skirt as well. But I was thinking if you wanted to make it a little bit more comfortable for yourself when you're indulging, you could change it very easily to have a gathered skirt. So you've got a little bit more room, but you've still got that beautiful detailed bodice. I think this would be absolutely stunning in a velvet for Christmas day with a big bow at the back. It is just the perfect Christmas dress. So the next pattern is quite a versatile one. It's the Marsha style Sia dress. Now I say versatile because with this pattern, it is all about the fabric that you use. You could use a viscose twill to make it much more wearable. So you're not just wearing it for parties or you could make it in a silk similar to this Reformation dress that I have saved as inspiration, which I'm desperate to recreate. It's really beautiful as a party dress, but also it's one of those patterns that I think you'll get a lot of use out of for making everyday dresses too. This is a new addition to my patterns collection. It is the Simplicity S9539. It's a Mimi G pattern. These wrap dresses with the collars are absolutely everywhere at the moment. Zara is full of them and I love this midi version. It looks really comfortable to wear because it's not super, super tight fitting, but that pull in at the waist gives you a bit of shape as well. I love the cuffs on it, it makes it look really chic. I mean, this would be really good for work wear as well, not just a party dress, but I thought if you made it in a silk or something quite statement, you could even go for something with a bit of glitz, maybe a little bit of sequin on it too. This would make a really, really good party dress. So if you love this pattern and you are plus size, they do have a plus size version as well, which is absolutely amazing. It is the 9540. So if you're shopping for it, have a look for that number. The next dress is an absolute knockout. It is such a statement. I've seen this dress before and I had it saved. It's probably not something that I would personally make, mainly because I don't have an occasion to wear it to but oh, it is sensational, so I had to share it. It is the Vogue 1697, and oh my goodness, this dress, the cowl back with the straps across, 
the bias cut fit of the skirt with the slash. It is just dreamy. It's also like a halter neck shape, but it's got bust darts, so it would be a really, really beautiful fit. But because it's cut on the bias, you've still got that skimming, so it'd be lovely to wear. If you have got a ball coming up or a really glamorous Christmas party, you need to make this dress. I know backless dresses aren't for everyone, but I've got a little tip for if you still need to keep the girls supported. With this dress, because of the style of the front, you could still go for a strapless bra, but get an old one or a cheap one, cut the strap off and make an elastic channel in the matching fabric that you've made the dress in. It looks like it's part of the dress, so it doesn't ruin the look, but you get all the support that you need for the girls and no risk of falling out either. Wouldn't be a patterns video without some free mood patterns thrown in. First up, I've got the poppy dress, which is so, so cute. It's got a deep V, so it's got that little bit of sexiness to it. Big puff sleeves, because we all love a puff sleeve. And then it's got sort of like an A-line skirt too. Belt round the middle, buttons down the front. Looks like it will be lovely to wear. And if you've got it, flaunt it. So next up is the nettle dress, which is definitely a summer dress. But if you made this in a satin, it could be an absolutely gorgeous Christmas party dress and because of the fit of it, it'll be super, super comfy to wear too. So it's got two skirt versions. One is a mini skirt with a single flounce. The second one is a real statement. It's a double flounce skirt, so it's more of like a midi maxi length, but it's got a really beautiful loose fitting bodice with grown on sleeves. It's got a wrap around the front, a tie belt, and yes, that beautiful flounced skirt with all the drama. The last dress I'm going to include from Mood because I could get a little bit carried away with the Mood patterns this time of year. They are so good. I loved the fabric that they made this in. It's like an organza or chiffon and it's got a little bit of sparkle on it. I thought that was beautiful with a slip dress underneath. Unless you're happy to show your pants, no judgment here, go for it. But yeah, the organza fabric that they used was absolutely gorgeous. And I think this will be really comfortable to wear because of the gathered skirt. I love the high neck, it makes it look so chic. And then it's got these really cute little ruffles around the sleeve too. But if you're not a fan of a ruffle around the sleeve, you could just keep it simple and you would still have that gorgeous statement fabric doing all the talking. Got a few patterns from Vicky Sews next. The first one is a knockout. I have just seen a wedding dress made from this pattern and it was absolutely exquisite. It was made by a lady called Jess and she looked sensational. It is such a simple shape but it's not at the same time if that makes sense. It's the Leoncia? 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 Correct me in the comments please. <laughs> It's a bias cut dress with a draped bodice and draped cold shoulder sleeves. It's got straps too. Oh, it is stunning. I absolutely love this. You could go full length if you've got ball and you want a real statement dress, or you could go for a midi and get some really fancy shoes. I have got some satin in my stash actually. I'm very, very tempted to make this. The next pattern is a favorite of mine. It's the lacy slip dress. I wanted to include this because although it's simple, a really gorgeous fabric for this and go all out. I made it in a jacquard satin viscose and it was absolutely beautiful. Simple, but not at the same time. I did covered buttons down the side and I absolutely love that dress. Every time I put it on, I feel so, so good in it. It's a really nice shape. It's bias cut, but at the back, it's cut in two pieces. So you get a little bit of shape, which for me, who's got a lot of junk in the trunk, is really, really helpful. It also has bust darts too, so it fits really well across the chest. But it's just a really lovely, simple dress that will work for so many occasions. Vicky Sews have also just released a New Year's collection. There's so many gorgeous patterns in it, but I've chosen two of my absolute favourites. The first one is the Iman, which is a wrap jumpsuit with big balloon sleeves and an elasticated waist. It's quite a simple shape. But I think if you made it in a sequin, it would look sensational. It'd be very, very comfortable to wear as well. It's got a tapered fit on the leg, but I would actually be inclined to hack it to be wide leg, just because I prefer a wide leg trouser. But I think that would look really, really nice. My absolute favorite of the collection is the Lord's dress. I know this isn't gonna be for everyone, but this really reminded me of a self-portrait dress that I was trying to recreate last year. It's got a ruched overlay um, of organza or something sheer like that. It's got a lace up panel down the front. It's got bust cups as well. 
and long sleeves but the details on this are just amazing i love this it's a head turner this dress that's for sure if you walk into a room wearing it I'm gonna leave because I'll be jealous. So I think this is the last one for dresses. I can't promise that. There's possibly another one on a different page. But this is the Capulet dress by Stitch Witch Patterns. It is so cute and so fun. It really reminds me of the silky dresses that are everywhere with the puff sleeves and the big, full, dramatic skirts. It's really, really sweet. The size range is absolutely amazing as well but I love that full volume skirt with the little puff sleeves. You could make this in a really sparkly black organza, or you could just make it in a brocade or something like that, so you really get that extra bit of volume in the skirt. This is absolutely adorable. On to a few tops next. The first one is the Tally Corset by Vicky Sews. This is really, really gorgeous. Corsets are everywhere at the moment, aren't they? But this one is beautiful. It's very, very simple, but it's got the princess seams down the front. So you can have lots of boning. It will give the girls lots of support and really cinch you in. But you could make it in a variety of fabrics. You could keep it simple with the satin, or you could go for a brocade, add a little bit of sparkle, or you could let the channels kind of do the talking and you could use a lace or something as well and have velvet or satin channels. You could really go to town with this one. Add some organza sleeves. Why not? Make a statement out of it. It's got an angled hem as well, which points down, which I think gives a really lovely shape. I think it would look really nice with a bias cut skirt or with a pair of really fitted high-waisted trousers. Perfect one if you're looking for jeans and a nice top look as well. Okay, I've got a couple of free patterns from Mood. If you're, like I said earlier, doing jeans and trousers, you don't really want to wear a dress or a jumpsuit. The first one is the Cardinal blouse, which is so fun. It's got this ruffle all the way down at the front and ruffle sleeves. I think in a chiffon, this would be sensational with a nice bra underneath or something a little bit more silky. It would look great tucked into high-waisted trousers or worn underneath a suit as well. So you've got that ruffle kind of poking out. You could do covered buttons all down the front as well. So add that extra touch of detail. The next one is a statement. It's the Malia blouse, but it's hacked to have the biggest sleeve you have ever seen in your life. There's a whole blog post about how you hack the sleeve and everything. This isn't actually a pattern that you download. This is amazing it is such a statement and you could really go for it in the fabric make it in quite a thick structured satin that would look really beautiful go for something shiny a little bit glitzy like a brocade again or <laughs> again an organza you could have a satin placket and collar and then have the sleeves and the bodice in an organza for a real real statement next up is the gracie steel Quinn cowl which is really beautiful it's kind of similar to the Sicily but it's a little bit more covered and it has this amazing cut out back detail but if you're not for a cut out back and you want to keep yourself a little bit more covered it does have a view where that is completely covered and you've just got a little keyhole detail in the back it's a dress version too so you could do it as a dress I love the shape of it it's so modern so chic and Anything cut on the bias is just always going to look amazing and be a really lovely to wear too. Last one for tops. This is a freebie from Belen Paris, who I recently discovered and have fallen in love with. They have some of the most beautiful patterns I've ever seen. Some of them are in English, but a lot of my favourites are in French. So I've yet to actually buy any and give them a go because my French is absolutely appalling. But the top I'm talking about, the Calizana blouse, is really really sweet it's got a sweetheart neckline and big puff sleeves it's very very fitted it's got so so many variations for a free pattern and it also has a dress version too so worth a download if you're brave and want to have a go at translating the instructions okay a bit of a random one but i wanted to include some trousers for anybody who is looking for some nice trousers to pair with all those beautiful statement tops these trousers i've made many many times before they're not going to be for everyone but done in the right way, they are so chic. It's the M7726 trousers, although I think they've changed the number. Hang on. They are now the 8168 by McCall's. They are a high-waisted, but super high-waisted, paper bag, pleated pair of trousers, and they are really, really lovely. 
You can add belt loops. I'd create a big belt to go around the middle to really, really cinch you in. They've got a tapered leg variation, wide leg variation, shorts variation as well. I include these because although they're not a Christmas party pattern, you could make these in a very structured satin. You could even go for it and make them in a velvet. You could also, instead of the belt around the waist, make a really, really big bow. So you almost look a little bit like a Christmas present. <laughs> Another McCall's one, this is the Tillery McCall's and it is a multi-ruffle tiered skirt. It is so, so fun. I've seen this on Instagram so many times. I absolutely love it. The reason I've included this is because I saw a skirt on Pinterest that was a very similar shape, but it was made in sequins and it is amazing. I absolutely love it. I want one for myself. It is so, so fun. And I think this would be great for so many different occasions. You could do it in a chawl if you really wanted to, add some extra ruffles. It's very hackable. Also, it has an elasticated waist, so it's going to be super comfy to wear. Last pattern, I promise. Doesn't scream party outfit, but I could not do a holiday season patterns video without including these because I think they are absolutely essential for the holiday season. Chilling at home, cheese and wine night, or you could do a daily sleeper version where you go for sparkly buttons, feather cuffs, feather hem, and you could wear them out. They would look amazing. But these are the Carolyn pyjamas by Closet Call. They're a really, really lovely shaped pyjama. They've got the collar, they've got piping, pockets, cuffs, piping around the hem as well, long sleeve, wide leg, elasticated waist. I even love the shirt just as a shirt on its own. But you could do this in a lovely satin or you could do it in a fancy Liberty cotton if you've got some, really treat yourself. These would also make a really, really lovely gift if you're looking to sew some gifts and you've got the time. I'm really hoping to this year, but I say that every year and it never ever happens, so sorry sisters. <laughs> I told you this was a long one. Thank you so much for sticking with me. That is everything on my list now. I really hope this gave you some really good sewing inspiration for some lovely occasion wear. Please do let me know in the comments what occasions you've got coming up and what you're gonna be sewing for. I would love to know. We can all help inspire each other. Everything will be linked in the description box below. If you did enjoy today's video and you love watching anything sewing related, please do subscribe. I would absolutely love to have you back. But that's all from me today. Thank you so much for watching, happy sewing, and I'll see you in my next one.